Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start your Steam Deck into the BIOS menu. And this is really easy to do if you wanna go ahead and change something around or change the boot order. So let's turn off our Steam Deck by holding down the power button right here. And then go to shut down and select this, go to confirm. Now, when we're starting it up, we wanna hold down the plus icon on the top and continue to hold this down until you see the Steam symbol and press the power button to turn it on. So it looks like it's completely turned off. This light on top is like orange or green or something like that. So let's hold down the plus icon. Then we're gonna tap power. And this light is gonna be white now on the top. Continue to hold it down on the left until we see a symbol. We can go ahead and let go now. Now we're gonna use the trackpad to move around the mouse cursor. So we have our boot manager right here. If we have a micro SD, card installed. We can boot Windows 11, 10, or if you got like um, iMac on there or whatever the Apple software is called. And then we can go on down to the setup utility right here. Just press R2 to click on stuff. And then here is the box. So we can go up and down here. Doesn't seem like the touchpad or the left trackpad works to scroll up and down. We actually have to click it and then go up and down here. But some things you might want to do is go to advanced and there's one option under here for you may frame buffer size. Change this from one gigabyte to four gigabytes, especially if you're going to be using Windows. This could help improve the frames per second in some of the games that you're using. It seems like uh, you'll get at least like 10 to 15 frames per second increase if you're playing like a, a demanding game like Fortnite or something like that that just uses a lot of memory. And here it is. Now, anytime you select any settings under here, make sure you're saving it on the bottom. Otherwise, you're going to go and restart your system and nothing's going to happen. So go to save and exit down here at the bottom, and then you should be good to go. So hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.